Hello everyone. In this lecture, you will learn how to create a folder or directory inside Android Studio. So first of all, open your Android Studio. Choose your project and open it. As you can see, our project has been loaded into Android Studio successfully. Now go to App Directory, then go to Java Directory, and again go to our directory under the of our package name. As you can see, there is a by default a UI directory which holds the fragment directories, right? Dashboard directory holds the dashboard fragment, right? So as like UI directory, we have to create some more directories which defines our some classes. For example, if we want to put activity classes into our project, then we should put these classes into our activity folder or directories. Okay, for example, uh, so let's get started. Select your package name, then right click on it new then go to package now type your folder or directory name activity it's totally up to you you can give any name to it then press enter as you can see our first activity directory has been created successfully now create some more activity go to new then select package and type fragment right and uh, create uh, another directory uh, let's hope uh, it's for model classes uh, we name it list you can give any name okay now create a another directory which is response uh, which holds the response from upcoming calls from retrofit right press enter now create a class for create a new directory for our function class which holds the function for our whole projects right uh, name it helper or you can name it function anything it is totally up to you press enter now create a one more directory which holds the our our api files right name it api files right press enter as you can see, we have successfully created our six directories, right? All these six directories, right? Now, as you can see, we have a UI directory. So we have to remove this UI directory and all these fragments we have moved to into our fragment directory, main directory, right? So how you can do that? It is very simple just to select it and drag and drop into the fragment like this just to click select and move into the fragment like this one and then click on refactor it has been done you, as you can see dashboard directory has been empty now now also remove the home directory per, but ref before removing home directory you should move this home fragment into the main fragment folder right refactor and also do it for notification as you can see our ui directory has been empty now as now you can simply delete it 
press the delete key button from your keyboard then select delete as you can see our project structure and directory structure looks more good and clean as you can see all these are empty now but our fragment shows a arrow which represents that this fragment directory have files inside it as you can see it is there now you should check these files either have error or not open the dashboard fragment and check whether it has error or no it has no error if you are using a old version of android studio then it will cause errors and where this error you can find you can find the error inside this first line into the package after that but in the newer version of android studio it is automatically done you not need to worry about it errors okay same thing check for home fragment it is also fine same for notification fragment it is also fine right now also check the layout files which is under the resource res folder right resource maximize it now click on layout go to the fragment dashboard dot xml file by double click on it as you can see there is no errors if you are using old version of android studio then where error is comes error will comes into the tool dot context in this line okay and uh, you will you have to define the package name of that class for which you have created this load file right if uh, you do not understand what it comes here then simply remove uh, suppose that it is a error so what you can do to fix it just remove it all this under the keywords and put a dot okay now as you can see this is a fragment layout so you have to go to the fragment folder inside the package name of your project right select the fragment now type fragment f g m n t right after that you have to check whether this layout is go to which class or fragment so as the name represents fragment dashboard so this class is go to the dashboard fragment so put a dot here and type this class name which is dashboard fragment right now as you can see error has been gone uh, this lecture has been completed I will meet you in the next lecture.